Awesome. Hi. I'm Amy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm just kidding. Uh, try to save the word awesome for something greater than just holding a microphone. <laughs> so uh, I would like to know the Neil deGrasse Tyson answer and description of what is matter. Basic question. <laughs> you got to see the video. <laughs> Uh, what is matter? I think, um, I, I'll answer that, but I think one should not be too distracted by definitions, because what happens is you define it and someone says, well, I can think of an exception, I got, and then it becomes an argument about the definition, whereas often ideas can transcend definitions. For people, that's, this is how Pluto became a problem. For in some classrooms, it was defined as the ninth planet. And then that changed into something else, and third graders got pissed off by that. <laughs> and so, so we just say there are these icy bodies and rocky bodies and gaseous. I'm not going to count them. I don't, and call them what you want. But they're made of gas. These are gas, and these, uh, Pluto is icy, and it grows a tail when it comes near the sun. No planet grows a tail when it comes near. That's not behavior of a planet. So, so, we have an inventory of particles, fundamental particles and derived particles. And all matter that we've ever seen is comprised of these particles. And if it's not these particles, then it can be energy. Energy can manifest in ways that are not particles. Um, but, so I, I, I can define matter as anything that's comprised of this set of particles that we've explored and discovered in the universe. And they all have different properties. The electron, the, the, the various quarks, the, the bosons, the, uh, you know, it goes on and on. It's, and it's, it's a zoo, actually. <laughs> um, but we don't need a hundred theories to describe the behavior of the hundred particles. If that were the case, I think we'd be in a big we wouldn't really understand anything. But it's only a few theories to understand them all. And so that's how I would define matter.